Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. I am rebooting, restarting, getting going again. My replay baseball Ventura style with the franchise all-star set that I began, uh, I guess it was early in 2023, uh, the Replay Baseball Franchise All-Star Set is based on a book called Now Taking the Field. And um, I have made some modifications to the rosters. Shocking. Just shocking, I know. Uh, so what we're going to do today is to give you a quick update on where the standings are and uh, we're going to do a game. We're going to do the a, an interleague game between the Arizona Diamondbacks at the Philadelphia slash Kansas City slash Oakland Athletics. Uh, so we're in Oakland today. And uh, it was my intent for this to be a live stream, my friends. Going to do it live. Can't do it live. I was going to have a party. But then jury duty came a calling. So this morning we're doing this game. And then tonight there will be a second game at 6 p.m. Central. Stratomatic. So we got replay in the morning. We got Stratomatic at night. It's happy birthday to me. Except I'm at jury duty. That's right. I got called for jury duty on my birthday. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I do have a refreshing beverage. I am going to do a live stream someday. Seriously, this was going to be the day. But... I have my civic obligation to fulfill. And as an old government teacher, I do take that seriously. Uh, someday I'll tell you the story about my first jury duty experience. Uh, and I might get a good story out of this one too. We'll see. But as you're watching this, I am at jury duty. And I'll be there again tomorrow on Tuesday as well. And, of course, that means I'm, with my luck, I'm going to be sequestered for four years and the trial will go on forever. And that's just the way it goes. All right, the pitching matchup is a pair of left-handers in today's game. For the Diamondbacks, it's the big unit, Randy Johnson. And for the Athletics, it's going to be Rube Waddell. Uh, so let's first take a look at the standings. Then we'll get to the batting orders for today's game. Um, and in the description for this video, I am putting the link to the Replay Baseball website in case you want to check that out. Uh, and check out this set that is still available from the Replay Baseball website, as well as in this description for this video, the link to channel membership. With channel membership, you get access to members-only videos, discounts in my secondary store, and a free gift for me every month. So that's a tremendous value for you. Replay is a great value. Shipping is free with Replay Baseball and the channel membership, there's no better deal in the hobby than my channel membership. All right, so let's get to the standings as they currently exist. And then the starting lineups for today's game, the Diamondbacks at the Athletics. And think of me while I'm on jury duty. And think of me on my birthday at jury duty. All right, so I didn't have room to do games back, but I do have the standings for each league in the American League East. The Yankees are 7-5. and five. They're tied for the top spot with the Red Sox. Baltimore's a game back. Tampa Bay, 
Uh, has not played the same number of games yet, but we're getting to that. Uh, and then come the Blue Jays bringing up the rear uh, four games back. In the Central, the Tigers and uh, Senators slash Twins are tied for the top spot at 6-3. and three. Cleveland's a game back at 5-4. and four. The White Sox, two back at 4-5. and five. And the Royals bringing up the rear four back at two and seven. In the West, the Astros are the hottest team in the American League. They are eight and four. They just swept Texas in a three gamer. Uh, then come these Athletics, Texas and California are tied for third, and Seattle is four back, bringing up the rear. In the National League, the Phillies are eight and four. The Mets two uh, one and a half back. Then come the Marlins and the Expo Nats. The Expo Nats and the Braves one and eight to get things out of the gate. The hottest team in the National League is the Cardinals. They are eleven and one to get things started. Then come the Reds at three and a half back. The Cubs and the Brewers are tied at 5-7, and seven, and bringing up the rear are the Pirates. Last but not least, it's the National League West, and look who's in front. It's those upstart Colorado Rockies at 8-4. and four. The G-Men are a game back, and then come the Diamondbacks in today's game, and then the Padres and Dodgers bringing up the rear. At three back for the Dodgers in last place currently. All right, we'll update that as we go along. Uh, your batting orders for today's game go like this. For the visiting Diamondbacks, Chris Young leads off in center. Jay Bell bats second at short. Luis Gonzalez bats third and left. Paul Goldschmidt bats fourth at first base. Justin Upton bats fifth in right field. Matt Williams bats sixth at third base. Mark Reynolds bats seventh. The DH, Damian Miller, bats eighth. He'll catch. And Orlando Hudson is going to bat ninth and play second. On the mound, it's Randy Johnson, the big unit. On this card, he's 19-9 and nine with a 2.18 earned run average. For the homestanding athletics, Ricky Henderson leads off in left. Eddie Collins bats second at second base. Jose Canseco bats third. He's the DH. Reggie Jackson bats fourth. He's in right. Jimmy Fox, double X, bats fifth and plays first. Al Simmons bats sixth in center field. Sal Bando bats seventh at third base. Gene Tennis bats eighth. He will catch. And Eddie Jost bats ninth. He will play shortstop. Bert Campanaris is injured for today's game. On the mound for the Athletics, it's Rue Boidel, 42 starts in this card. 26 and 14 with a 2.58 earned run average. We are in Oakland, of course. Our ballpark looks like this, and it's going to be kind of tough to hit one out of here. Uh, in fact, uh, hits of any description, a little bit tough in Oakland at Ring Central Coliseum. All right, Chris Young steps in the batter's box against Rube Waddell, and we are ready to go. The Diamondbacks have a 5-4 and four record coming into today's game. Oakland with a 4-5 and five record. The wind-up and the delivery by Waddell is going to be strike three swinging for Chris Young, and we're off and running. Had trouble coming up with a Diamondbacks leadoff man against a lefty. So we'll see how the Chris Young experiment works out. Jay Bell is up there now in the delivery by Waddell. And hey, struck him out. Two up and two down in a hurry for the Diamondbacks. And here's Luis Gonzalez, the only left-handed batter in the lineup today for Arizona. The wind-up and the delivery by Waddell is going to be uh, ball four and down to first base goes Gonzalez. Waddell trying to strike out the side. 
Got a little bit wild on that one, and Paul Goldschmidt comes to the plate. Goldie, the cleanup hitter, the stretch by Waddell and the delivery, and I struck out Goldschmidt and gets the side. We go to the bottom of the first. It's Arizona nothing, and the Athletics coming to bat. Randy Johnson, the big unit, facing Henderson, Collins, and Canseco. In the bottom of the first, the wind and the delivery by the big unit. And I struck him out. Well, they're going pitch for pitch. Henderson's gone on strikes. The cheese got him. And Eddie Collins comes to the plate. The wind and the delivery by Johnson to Collins is swung on and hit to left, but not deep. Coming in quickly is Gonzalez, and he's got it. For out number two, and here comes Canseco, the DH for Oakland today. Johnson deals to him, and Canseco bounces it to short. This is Jay Bell. He fires to Goldschmidt, and the side is retired in the first. So we got a couple of bagels in the first inning. We go to the second, Arizona nothing, and Oakland nothing. Upton, Williams, and Reynolds coming up against Rue Waddell in the top of the second. The wind and the delivery by Waddell is strike three called. Upton watched it go by like a barn on the side of the road. Waddell, four outs so far and four strikeouts so far. Here's Williams. Waddell deals to the third baseman. And that's a line drive base hit to left field. Drops in front of Ricky Henderson. One on for Arizona with one out. Mark Reynolds comes to the plate. The stretch by Waddell and the pitch to Reynolds. Is swung on. That's hit to short. That's Jost. And that is going to be... Uh, going to Collins for one and the relay to double X. Jimmy Fox is in time for a rally killing soul crushing six, four, three double play turned by the athletics. And we go to the bottom of the second with your score, Arizona, nothing and Oakland, nothing Jackson Fox and Simmons coming up. For the Athletics against the big unit, the delivery is ball four. He walks Reggie. Now, Reggie, of course, with Oakland, had some pretty good wheels, so we'll see if they decide to do anything here with Fox at the plate. Johnson the stretch and the pitch to him. And he is not going. And he strikes him out. Fox goes down on a bender. That is one on with one out now for Simmons. The stretch by Johnson. The pitch to Simmons is going to be... Ah, uh, well, we could have a rare play check. Let's see. And we are going to have a rare play check with a runner at first base. And so we got to re-roll. Our dice, and we get an eight. Uh, that is going to be a double to right field in the right field gap. Right center field gap. That's going to split Young and Upton and go to the wall. Uh, that is going to score Reggie Jackson and going for third is Al Simmons. The relay coming from Hudson to Williams is in time. They get Simmons at third, trying to stretch a double into a triple. On the play, it goes 9-4-5 for out number two, but the Athletics get on the board first. It's one nothing Oakland. Coming to the plate now with 
Nobody on. And two men out. It's Salvando. Johnson winds and deals to the Athletics third baseman. And hey, struck him out. That retires the side with Randy Johnson's third strikeout, but not before Oakland picks up a run on a hit. And we go to the third inning. It's the Athletics one and the Diamondbacks nothing. Rube Waddell, freshly armed with a one to nothing lead, faces Miller, Hudson, and Young in the Arizona third. The windup and the delivery by the Athletics left-hander is a little tap in front of home plate. Pouncing on it quickly is Gene Tennis. He fires down to Jimmy Fox for out number one. Orlando Hudson comes to the plate now. Switch hitter batting right against the left-handed Waddell and the pitch. Swung on by Hudson. This is hit to second. Jimmy Collins, or Eddie Collins, excuse me, to his left, gloves it and throws to Fox for out number two. Chris Young, 0 for 1. He's up there now. Nobody on base. The wind in the delivery. And hey, struck. Yeah, about Waddell made him look sick on that one. And that will retire the side in the third. Five strikeouts now for Rube Waddell. We go to the bottom of the third, and it's uh, Oakland one and Arizona nothing. It's Tennis, Yost, and Henderson coming up in the A's third inning. Johnson kicks and deals. That is strike three. Blew a fastball by Gene Tennis. Strikeout number four to start the third inning for the big unit. Here's Yost. Johnson deals to him. And it's a line drive caught by Jay Bell for out number two. Now it's Henderson with nobody on base. Each team has one hit. The Athletics have a run. Henderson struck out in the first. Johnson deals. And this one is swung on and bounced to second. Hudson sidearms it to Goldschmidt. And the Athletics are gone in the third. We go to the fourth. It's the Athletics one and the Diamondbacks nothing. Waddell has been dominant in the early going. Five strikeouts so far. One ba two base runners, a walk and a hit allowed. It'll be Bell, Gonzalez, and Goldschmidt, two, three, four, coming up for the D-backs. Waddell winds and deals. This is going to be, well, we got to do a rare play check. And this will be a little tap back to the mound. Jay Bell digging down that line. Waddell fires to Fox. And Bell beats the wrap at first. An infield hit for the Diamondback shortstop. There's the potential tying run at the plate. And Luis Gonzalez comes up. Lefty-lefty matchup. The Athletics infield playing for a double play chance. The stretch by Waddell and the delivery to Luis Gonzalez. Is going to be hit on a line to center. On the run is... Uh, Al Simmons, and he's got it in right center, makes a running catch. Bell slams on the brakes and retreats to first. Here comes Paul Goldschmidt. Waddell the stretch, the pitch to Goldie. Is a base hit to left field. Uh, that is Henderson. And he's going to make the play on it. So stopping at second will be Bell. On at first is Goldschmidt. Arizona has two on in the same inning for the first time in the game. And here's Justin Upton. The stretch by Waddell. Upton struck out in the second. Rube delivers. And I struck him out. Number six for Rube, and he needed it. Second time he's rung up Justin Upton, and here's Matt Williams. Williams one for one. The stretch by Waddell, there's two outs. Bell at second, Goldschmidt at first, and the delivery. 
is swung on and it's line to left. Here comes Ricky. He's got it for out number three. So Rue Guadel works himself into and then out of trouble in the top of the fourth. The Diamondbacks do not score. Bottom of the fourth coming. And your score is the Athletics one and the D-backs nothing. Collins, Canseco, and Jackson lefty, righty, lefty against the big unit in the fourth. The delivery is a ground ball hit to Williams at third. Uh, Williams gloves it to his left, plants and throws to Goldschmidt, and they get Collins by a step at first. One down in the fourth, now it's Conseco. Jose is 0 for 1 in the ball game. Johnson deals to him. And this one is swung on by Canseco, and it is hit to center and deep. It's going to be off the wall. Running it down is Chris Young around first and cruising into second with a one-out double is Jose Canseco. Reggie Jackson can increase the Athletics' lead with a base hit here. Johnson the stretch and the pitch to Reggie. Hey, struck him out. He made him look bad on a curveball, and that is strikeout number five for the big unit. Jimmy Fox comes to the plate. Now they've got an interesting choice here. First base is open. They can walk Fox and get to Simmons, but pitching to Al Simmons is no party, so they're going to go after double X. Johnson the stretch and the pitch to Fox. I struck him. Uh, he got him with the cheese, and that'll retire the side in the fourth. The Athletics get nothing and like it, Spalding. We go to the fifth, and your score, the Athletics won, and the Diamondbacks nothing. It's my birthday, and I'm on jury duty. No live streams for me today. Uh, but I hope you're enjoying the ball game. We had a good one in Oakland. It's the Athletics one and the Diamondbacks. Nothing as we go to the top of the fifth. Replay Baseball website is linked in the description for this video, as is the link to channel membership on my channel. Uh, and uh, don't forget tonight at 6 p.m. Central, I've got Stratomatic on the air for you. So come on back. We got a day night. We had a morning night double header uh, for you today. All right. It's a birthday party and you get the presents. All right. Mark Reynolds, Damian Miller, Orlando Hudson coming in the fifth inning. Drew Bledel kicks and deals. Reynolds swings. He hits it to second. This is a chance for... Eddie Collins, and Collins boots it. It goes into short right field. That is an E4 that's going to put Mark Reynolds on first base, and Damian Miller comes to the plate. Well, you got some options here. Uh, Oakland is going to play their infield at normal depth. So they are going to dare Damian Miller to lay down a bunt. The stretch by Waddell and the pitch to Miller, and he does square to bunt. Uh, so this one is bunted toward first baseman Jimmy Fox, who turns and flips to Eddie Collins covering first. And the sacrifice moves Mark Reynolds to second base with one out for Orlando Hudson. Man in scoring position for the Diamondbacks. Waddell the stretch. Hudson's 0 for 1. The delivery is ball 4 for Hudson and down to first he goes. So the Diamondbacks with another threat here in the fifth. Top of the order, Chris Young at the plate. But he has struck out twice in two trips in this ball game. The stretch by Waddell. The delivery to Chris Young. And he walks Young. The bases are loaded. Golden opportunity.
for the Diamondbacks to get on the board here. J Bell at the plate with one out. It's Reynolds at third, Hudson at second, and Young at first. J Bell with one out. Gonzalez on deck, the stretch by Waddell. They are going to play the infield at normal depth at all four spots for the Athletics, the delivery. Swung on by Bell, and this is going to be trouble, maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's a 12. No, that's going to be a base hit for J. Bell. And that will go to right field. Scoring is Reynolds. And Hudson, I believe, had good wheels. So let's see if they're going to wave him. He's a four. Hmm. And that's Reggie out there. And Reggie is a four. Well, let's see if they wave him. Let's see if they wave Orlando Hudson. Uh, they are, and he's going to score. And it's 2-1 Arizona on a two-run single by J. Bell. Now, Waddell is in trouble. Gonzalez comes to the plate with Young at second and Bell at first, and still only one out. There is stirring in the athletics bullpen, but nobody's throwing yet. The stretch by Waddell, the pitch to Gonzalez with the infield at double play depth. And that is going to be a fly ball to center. Al Simmons is under it, and he is going to make the catch for out number two. And we are going to have a pass ball check for Gene Tennis. Let's see what happens here. That is going to be a pass ball. And the runners move up 90 feet as Goldschmidt tries to extend the Arizona lead. So now Young is at third, Bell's at second, two outs. Goldschmidt looking for something to drive. Waddell the stretch, Upton would be next. Waddell delivers. And this is going to be swung on by Goldschmidt and missed by Goldschmidt. Waddell humps up on that fastball and gets himself out of the fifth inning. But Arizona gets on the board with two runs on just one hit. We're halfway through this one. We got a good one. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Athletics one. Simmons, Bando, and Tennis coming in the bottom of the fifth for the Athletics. The wind and the delivery by Johnson. And that is a ground ball hit to Bell at short. He gloves it and throws to Goldschmidt. They get Simmons at first. And Simmons is going to miss their next game. He's, he's looking lame, but he's going to stay in the game. At least for the moment. Now Sal Bando. Sal is 0 for 1. The delivery by Johnson. And Bando hits a screaming Mimi line drive. Paul Goldschmidt grabs it. It was ticketed for right field and... There's two down, down Gene Tennis. Johnson winds and deals. Tennis hits a little looper to left. Coming in quickly is Luis Gonzalez, and he's got it for out number three. Randy Johnson delivers a shutdown inning after the Diamondbacks take the lead. We go to the sixth, and your score is Arizona two and Oakland one. Rube Waddell is looking for a recovery inning here in the six, facing Upton, Williams, and Reynolds. 
The windup and the delivery by Waddell is hit to left on a line at Ricky, and he one hands it for out number one. Matt Williams is one for two. He's up there now. Waddell kicks and delivers. And Williams hits it on the ground to first. Jimmy Fox is going to take it to the bag unassisted for out number two. Mark Reynolds scored Arizona's first run just last inning. He's up there now with two outs and nobody on. Waddell delivers. And Mark Reynolds draws a walk with two outs. He's on base again. And Damian Miller comes to the plate. Waddell the stretch. The pitch to the Arizona catcher. And this one is going to be... A base hit to right field. It drops in front of Reggie. Uh, Reynolds. Let's see if they're going to try and send him to third with two outs. And they are. Reggie Jackson fires to third on one hop to Sal Bando, who applies the tag. And Reynolds is gunned down by Mr. October. Nine to five on the putout. So give Miller a single. But Reynolds is thrown out trying to go from first to third with two outs. Bottom of the sixth is coming. Arizona leads it 2-1. It'll be Yost, Henderson, and Collins for the Athletics. 9-1-2 against Randy Johnson, who kicks and deals. And Yost with a base hit. This goes to center field. Chris Young gets it back in in good shape. And now Oakland has something going here in the bottom of the sixth. Ricky is 0 for 2. Johnson the stretch and the pitch to Ricky. Is swung on. That's hit to short. J. Bell gloves it and flips to Orlando Hudson covering. Hudson relays to Goldschmidt and Ricky Henderson beats the rap at first. So, Yost is retired 6-4. Ricky's on at first base. Johnson tries to hold Ricky Anderson close. The stretch, the delivery to Collins, and there goes Ricky. And Ricky uh, is going on the stolen base attempt. Miller fires down to Yost at second, or I'm sorry, to Bell at second. And Ricky is going to be safe, and does that throw going to center field? It does not. Uh, Bell blocks it from going into center. So Ricky gets a stolen base. He's at second. Chance to tie the game for Eddie Collins. One out. We're in the bottom of the sixth. 2 1 Arizona. Johnson, the stretch and the delivery. Is. Could be a rare play check. Let's see. No, it's not. It's a little tap back to the mound. Well, both of these guys can fly. Johnson's going to try for the out at first. Collins beats the wrap. And Henderson advances to third. There's Athletics at the corners with one out for Canseco. That's going to get the Arizona bullpen going. Athletics at the corners and only one man out. So... Starting to throw in the bullpen for the Diamondbacks. Uh, it's going to be Brad Ziegler, a right-hander. Canseco comes to the plate. The Diamondbacks are going to play their infield in at the corners. 
The stretch by Johnson and the delivery to Canseco. And that is swung on by Jose and a base hit to left. That will score Ricky. The game is tied at two. Around second going to third is Collins. Gonzalez looks at throwing to third, but then throws to second to hold Canseco at first. It's a 2-2 game, and the Athletics have runners at the corners again. Now it's Reggie. The infield is going to move in now for the Athletics with just one out for the uh, Diamondbacks. With just one out, Johnson the stretch. He needs a strikeout of Reggie Jackson. Fox is on deck. The delivery by the big unit. And that is swung on and it's hit to right. Back a few steps is right fielder Justin Upton. He's going to make the catch. Tagging at third is Collins. He's going to score. Holding at first is Canseco. It's 3-2. The Athletics take the lead. Now it's Jimmy Fox. The stretch by Johnson and the pitch to Fox with Canseco still at first. And hey, struck him out with the upstairs gas. That is strikeout number seven for Johnson. But in the sixth, the Athletics pick up two runs on three hits. They leave one. We go to the seventh and your score, Oakland three, Arizona two. For Arizona in the seventh, it's Hudson, Young, and Bell, 9-1-2. Coming up against... Uh, Rube Waddell, Hudson 0 for 1. Waddell kicks and deals, and it's a ground ball hit to shortstop Eddie Yost. He charges, throws on the run, and they get Hudson at first by a step. One out. Now it's Chris Young, who's 0 for 2. Waddell deals to him. Young swings and hits a little flare to right. Coming in quickly is Reggie Jackson. He pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number two. Jay Bell is two for three, including a two-run single that put Arizona in front in the fifth inning. Briefly, Gonzalez would be next. Waddell deals to him, and that is a base hit for Jay Bell to left. It drops in front of Ricky Anderson. Bell has his third hit of the day, and Gonzalez comes to the plate. Paul Goldschmidt would be next, and the Athletics bullpen gets going. And they've got a good one. Uh, Raleigh Fingers is going to start to throw for Oakland. All right, Gonzalez 0 for 2. The stretch by Waddell and the delivery to Luis is ball 2. The next pitch by Rube Waddell is swung on by Gonzalez and it's hit to center. Uh, back a few steps is Al Simmons, but he's got room and makes the catch for out number 3. So Waddell delivers a shutdown inning after the Athletics take the lead. And it's time to stretch them out in Oakland with your score, the Athletics 3 and the Diamondbacks 2. Randy Johnson will face Simmons, Bando, and Tennis in the Athletics 7th inning. The wind and the delivery by the big unit, and there's a base hit to left. Johnson may be tiring. Ziegler is up and throwing again. In the Arizona bullpen, Sal Bando comes to the plate. Bando is 0 for 2. Johnson, the stretch, the pitch to him. Is swung on by Bando and a little looper to left field. Here comes Luis Gonzalez. He one-hands it for out number one. Simmons holds on at first, and now Gene Tennis comes to the plate. Stretch by Johnson and the pitch to Gino. Ground ball hit to second. This is Hudson. He goes to Bell for one, and the relay to Goldschmidt is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing, 4 6 3 double play turned by the Diamondbacks to get out of the seventh inning. 
We go to the eighth, and your score is the Athletics 3 and the Diamondbacks 2. Uh, Rube Waddell is strolling out for inning number eight. Goldschmidt, Upton, and Williams are in his future. The four, five, six hitters for manager Bob Brenly. All right, Goldschmidt one for three. Rube Waddell kicks and deals. And Goldschmidt hits a fly ball to the left, not deep. Here comes Ricky, and he's got it for out number one. Upton is 0 for 3. He's had a rough one. Two strikeouts in his day. Matt Williams on deck. Waddell deals to Upton. And hey, struck him out. Justin Upton with the hat trick. That is strikeout number 8 for Rube Waddell on the day. Here is Matt Williams, 1 for 3. Mark Reynolds would be next. Waddell kicks and delivers. Ground ball hit by Williams. This goes to Yost at short. He fires to Fox, and the Diamondbacks are gone in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth, and it's the Athletics three and the Diamondbacks two. Uh, they're going to stick with Johnson for the moment. Yost, Henderson, and Collins scheduled in the Athletics 8th inning. They're looking for insurance, or as they say in Bloomington, Illinois, insurance. The wind and the delivery to Yost is a little looper to center field. Coming in quickly, Chris Young, he's got it for out number one. Ricky Henderson comes to the plate. Collins on deck. Johnson deals to Ricky. That is swung on and hit to Hudson at second. He sidearms it to Goldschmidt at first for two down. Starting to throw in the athletics bullpen is Dennis Eckersley. He may be called upon for a ninth inning save attempt. Coming to the plate now is athletic second baseman Eddie Collins. Johnson deals to Collins, and this one is going to be hit to Hudson at second. Uh, bunted, he gets it past the pitcher. Let's see if Hudson's going to be able to make a play. And they just nip Collins at first. Collins tries to bunt his way on. Pushed it past Johnson, but Hudson charged quickly, flipped to Goldschmidt, and that retired the Athletics in the bottom of the eighth. So we're going to the ninth with your score. The Athletics three and the Diamondbacks two. We, this is a great birthday game. Happy birthday to me, even though I'm at jury duty at the moment. Here he is, Dennis Eckersley, coming in for the save attempt. Bob Brenly's looking at his lineup card. Uh, coming up, scheduled anyway, for the Diamondbacks in the ninth are Mark Reynolds, Damian Miller, and Orlando Hudson. With Dennis Eckersley on for the save attempt, Gerardo Parra is going to bat for Mark Reynolds to lead off the ninth. And in the on-deck circle, it's Steve Finley who's going to bat for Damian Miller. Eckersley uh, is on for the save attempt on this card. 58 games, 4-4 four and four with a 159 ERA and 42 saves. All right, par at the plate. Diamondbacks trail by a run. It's put up or shut up time. The delivery by Eck is swung on by Para. That goes to second. Collins gloves it, throws to Jimmy Fox, and there's one down in the Diamondbacks' ninth inning. Here comes Steve Finley. Batting for Miller. Moving into the on-deck circle to bat for Orlando Hudson is Miguel Montero. The wind-up by Eckersley, the delivery to Finley, and that is going to be 
Well, let's see. That is ball two. Next pitch by Eck. Swung on by Finley. It's hit to second. Collins gloves it to his left. Cuts it off from going into right field. Plants and throws to Jimmy Fox for out number two. And that makes Miguel Montero the last chance saloon for the Diamondbacks. Chris Young is on deck. Eckersley, the wine, the delivery. And I struck him out to end the game with an exclamation mark. Dennis Eckersley pumps his fist. And let's give you the totals on this one. For the homestanding and victorious Oakland Athletics. Three runs, six base hits, and they committed one error. For the visiting Diamondbacks, two runs, six base hits, and they committed no errors. The winning pitcher is Rue Boidel. Dennis Eckersley picks up the save, and Randy Johnson, who deserved a better fate, is the hard luck loser. With the loss, the Diamondbacks' record in the early going drops to 5-5, five and five, while the A's' record improves to 5-5. Five and five. All right, don't forget, in the description for this video is the link to Replay Baseball's website. You can check out this set and all the others they offer. And so is the link to channel membership. Remember, with channel membership, you get access to members-only videos, discounts in my secondary store, and a free gift from me every month. Uh, and don't forget to come back tonight at 6 Central for Stratomatic Baseball. I got a special ball game coming up for you using original cards from the 1967 set. Going to be a fun one. Uh, so, uh, for now, from Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, your final is the Athletics 3 and the Diamondbacks 2. Have a great day, happy birthday to me, and I can assure you that I'm enjoying the jury duty. So long for now, we'll see you tonight. So long, everybody.